Welcome to Tangling well, along with me. We are continuing on tanglepatterns.com and today it is this pattern that we're going to do. Let's open up the book and find a place for this one. Um, this one is kind of a border tangle. So I am going to find me some place for a border. Um, and I actually have room here. I could take some place up there, but I think I am going... Um, I could do it down here as well. I'm gonna do, do this pattern right here. If I can speak, then it's easier. So let me see. I need to make sure it is in focus what I'm doing here. So I am going to make kind of a grid with uh, some orbs here. And I'm trying to uh, space them out equally so that I kind of get a square between them and that all of my squares are kind of equal in the size. You might uh, want to do this uh, a bit bigger than I am because um, this one is filled with a lot of things. And I see mine turn out a tiny bit small here. I am going to turn my book a tiny bit. Now we are going in and from this orb to this orb or uh, yeah, from these, I am going to make a chain of orbs. And I'm making sure that I have the right direction first. Then I'm going to the orb over here. Again, placing orbs in between the orbs, going up again. So we are going to make this zigzag pattern with orbs. And it's okay if the line here is a bit wonky, doesn't really matter in the end result. So don't worry. up there and you want the orbs to touch each other and I would have because I have an orb there so I would have that one right there so I would go down in this line here right there then we're going to make um, from this orb here to this orb kind of a uh, almond shape or an ice shape or a rice corn whatever you like to call them and I'm doing that everywhere where I have the single orb making this shape from the orb to the orb in the point here there we go and then I am going to build that out. So from a place in the chain to the orb or from the orb to a place in the chain. And I'm kind of curving my lines. And I'm doing it here on the other side as well. So taking off from this line and ending on the orb we just made here. Or that we have here. So that's a pattern and I'm gonna do this everywhere. And over here and then I'm going to turn my book around and do the same thing over here let me do this one first I 
there we go and then over here and you don't have to be precise with your uh, lines here from where they're starting just somewhere from this chain of orbs and again I'm doing it in all the places here personally I really like this border because I think it's easy and it's um, really centangle-ish as it is uh, working with only orbs and then curved lines so you uh, get to do the same pattern over and over again or the same stroke and that is what's making it so um, mesmerizing Whoops! to do these patterns I need to go get that one there we go that was my pencil that rolled off the table let me take my white jelly roll this is the 08 I'm making sure it is working and I think I am going to pop in a tiny bit of white uh, in the orbs here actually I think I'm gonna do it in all the orbs in the chain as well you don't have to do this um, this is just one way of doing something with colors in here and I like to come with a few ideas when I'm tangling so that you can try out a few different things yourself you can easily leave this black and white it will be pretty without colors as well and remember the jelly roll is kind of wet on the paper a few seconds so don't place your hand in it right away cap that one and I am going to take my brown micron pigment brush and I think I am going in here and coloring in these um, rice corn shapes here I'm just taking my time with this and enjoying each of my strokes on the paper there we go popping the cap on there and I am going to take my uh, graphite here and I think I'm gonna place a tiny bit of graphite here along this um, orb line I'm not placing that much just uh, a line of graphite again taking my tortillon softening that out a tiny bit not too much And I am going to turn my book around and do the same on this side. So just a line of graphite here. And then smoosh it out a tiny bit, soften it out I am going to take my white charcoal and I think I'm going to place just a tiny bit here on top um, where the lines are connecting or the little 
uh, curve from uh, the liners and I'm just placing a tiny tiny bit of the white charcoal just kind of a small light lion 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 light line so today the words are a bit difficult but we will get through it soften the line out not the lion but the line and I was thinking about maybe making a tiny bit here on the middle of these brown rice strips here just to soften it up there just a tiny tiny bit and I'm only just uh, touching with my uh, touchy young and right here there we go so that is the pattern for today it is really really pretty i like this pattern so much so that was all for today it was this pattern right here i hope you had a lot of fun with this one i did try to make it bigger in the start um because uh it's easier when it's bigger so that was it Thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.